Hey, hey. All right, so I don't know about your children, but my girls absolutely love those fruit gummy snacks that you can buy from the store. Um, so I was really on a mission to try and find a recipe where I could make some at home so I could control the ingredients that were going in it. And then I'm also looking for ways to consume morning charrettes, especially for me and, and also for my family. So I was really excited when I found this recipe. Um, we've been making it for quite some time, but I'm really excited to share it with you. So let me show you what ingredients you're going to need because it's, it's super simple. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of Ningxia Red, a fourth of a cup of some sort of fruit juice. Uh, you want to make sure that it's not from concentrate. This is cold pressed and organic. This is a mango flavor that my, my girls love, but feel free to use, you know, whatever flavor you would like. Apple juice is always always a good option. So a fourth of a cup of juice. You're going to need three heaping teaspoons of gelatin. This is grass-fed gelatin. You can find grass-fed gelatin at your local health food stores. Um, even Amazon has it, um, which is actually where I got this one from. So three heaping teaspoons. And then you're going to need a tablespoon and a half of raw honey. This is a local raw honey that, that we like to use, um, which is always stocked in our house. So and then, of course, you're going to need um, some even some great flavor. So you're going to need about six drops of orange essential oil. Now, feel free to use lemon if you wanted to, um, lime, grapefruit. Uh, we're huge orange fans, so we, we like orange. So six drops of, of orange essential oil. All right, so what you're going to do is let me move these so you, you can see me. Um, is you're going to take a saucepan and you're going to heat up the fourth of a cup of your juice, whichever juice you're using, a fourth of a cup of juice in a saucepan on low. You don't want it too hot. You don't want to burn it. And we really just want to warm it up because we need to dissolve this gelatin. So I'm going to do three heaping teaspoons of this grass-fed gelatin. I've already put my juice in this saucepan for you because um, I wanted to go ahead and have it warm. So that way we can go ahead and dissolve this. So two, and then, oh, that was definitely a heaping right there. Three, let me grab my whisk. And you're just gonna whisk this until the gelatin dissolves. And this is not the whisk I wanna use. Let me grab my other one, which is right here. Sorry about that. All right, and you're just gonna whisk, whisk, whisk until this gelatin dissolves, all right? It can get kind of clumpy sometimes, so just whisk away, keep whisking, until it's completely dissolved. And then you're gonna remove it from the heat, all right? So once that's done, remove from the heat, and then we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of the Ningxia Red. And like I said, I'm always looking for ways for my family to consume the Ning Red. So I was really, really excited when I found this recipe a while back. So I just poured that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add the tablespoon and a half of the raw honey. I am sure you are probably the same as me in that you hate um, dirtying up kitchen utensils. So I am not going to grab the half tablespoon. This was a tablespoon I just put in here. I'm not going to grab the half tablespoon measure. We're just going to eyeball it, okay? All right, so one and a half tablespoons of the honey. And then now we're going to add our six drops of orange essential oil right in here. One, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That's how easy it is. Took, what, you know, maybe three, four minutes. Um, so just whisk this together till it's nice and smooth and mixed. And then you're going to take silicone molds. You can find these, oh gosh, everywhere. I think I got this one from Walmart. These are grape shapes. These are the ones that my girls um, wanted to use today. So just take what you have right here in your saucepan and just pour it into your mold. All right, once it's, once you're done, all of that's gone and you poured it into your mold, pop those in the fridge. 30 minutes usually um, is about all it takes. And it's going to, once it's set, and then you just sit here and you just pop them out, and you have gummies. So I made some earlier today. This is all that's left. My girls have eaten um, almost all of them, but this is what you have. I mean, they're, they're little gummies, so little fruit snacks. Um, 
So that's how you make those. It's, it's very easy. And I would love to know um, what you think about it whenever you make them. All right. And then so before I go, I want to show you another little trick, um, something that we love to do, especially in the summertime, is we take these, the single servings, the two ounce servings of the Ningxia Red and these little, I like to call them travel packs because that's what we love to use them for is whenever we're on the go, you know, running out the door, grab one of these for our daily serving, but it's two ounces. Pop this in your freezer, literally. Whole packet, just throw it right in your freezer, lay it down on a shelf, and then a couple of hours later, it's frozen. Take some scissors, just cut the top part off right here, and you have a popsicle, like a Ningxia popsicle, and they're awesome. And I love them, my kids love them, so, you know, it's not just for your children, it's for you too. <laughs> and then you just push it from the bottom, just like you would a frozen pop, and then the Ningxia Red, the frozen Ningxia Red just continues to, to climb up and 